hey guys welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome thank you so much for stopping by my channel so today I am starting going to start back doing my video on a regular basis um, two video per week included um, in between maybe a live or so um, for you guys who don't know me my name is beautiful awesome and I was away um, from YouTube for a while since I get back I post like couple of videos not really you know just picture that I um, put together and post of myself so I decide that it's full time for me to get back into the loop because at the end of the day um, if I sit down here and stress myself over my sister that then you know maybe I might end up myself get sick or something I'm still mourning her but I want to come back and start to do my videos so I can occupy my mind and my brain and my thought, you know. So I'm showing you um, some of the things then that I have been using in Jamaica while I was away um, when my sister passed off. So the first one here that I have been using when I was in Jamaica is this oil here. Now this is uh, oil that they said that it um, it's not to me it don't bleach your skin just a serum um, they have SPF in it and it's the Caraton, um serum oil now this this one here you can use it and you um, your main hand and also you can use it on your feet I use it on my face when I was out there because of my skin was getting really really um, dark because of the Sun and the heat and I was like when I was out there I was sweating a lot and so this was the only thing that I have out there I think that have SPF in it so I was using this on my face I just have a little bit here it does tone my skin it doesn't bleach my skin it just tone my skin so I was using this while I was out there on my face and then the other one I was using on my face out there was the Hydro Mist Vitamin C5 Concentrated Serum. This is from Elizabeth Grant. I bring this with me and I was using underneath my neck and my face when I was out there. Also, for foundation, I was using these two foundation together. And this one is the... Um, Kiss New York Pro Touch Liquid Foundation, which is a little bit darker for my skin tone. So I have this drops here, which is the Kiss Professional Pro Touch um, Drops Foundation. This is a lighter, so I mix the two together to get um, a combination to match my, uh, my face. So that's what I was using and matching together with uh, my L'Oreal Infallible because of the way how the heat is in Jamaica, you cannot put on a lot of makeup, just a small amount, you know, if you're going out. Also, I picked this up since I get back, and this one is the um, Kiss Drop Foundation, and this one is in Moco. I picked this up, which is in number one four one five. I picked this up at the beauty supply. They are in the store now. They are very new, so you can try these out. And these, this one here is very light. Um, I used it this morning when I was going out on my face, and you can see it still remain. And this is like a couple hours now since I put on this makeup. So this is a drop that in the beauty supply. So you can also try that. Also. While I was out there, because of the heat and the sweating um, on my face, because as I get up in the morning, it was so hot, and then, you know, you was like, oh my God, how am I going to manage? It was time when I said to my husband that, you know, I, I, I feel better to have some of the coolness in my body than the heat. I know Jamaica is where I come from, but I think when you live here and you go back to Jamaica, you sweat more harder and more than when you was living there because when I was living there I mean I sweat um perspire or whatever you want to call it. it never really bothered me but then when I come to this country and keep going back then you know what that's what happened so this is from black opal and this is an invisible oil blocking loose powder now after I um I put on a primer on my face I will put a little bit of this over my face with a sponge and then I will put the foundation over so I don't when I go out my face doesn't um, really like 
oilier stuff you know or i really get that really bad um sweating in my face so this was one of the thing and it is a matte it says it's color free formula matte finish so i would use this um before i put on my foundation and after i put on my foundation i will put it underneath my eyes to set underneath my eyes and this is the color that i picked up from from them is like this color here so this is the color that i picked up and you know when you're in jamaica you need also a little um a little bit of bronzing and so on so while i was out there i bring me this um eben bronzer and contour palette which i was using out there and also i have this also this wet and white highlighter powder which so this is what i was used to put a little bronzing on my face so my face can really um you know keep up you know um looking a little bit bronzy and so and then i will use this highlighted powder this is from wet and wild and these are pretty pretty you can see the pigment of it how it is here that that's something i would use in jamaica now for eyeshadow i would go with the um the nyx ultimate eyeshadow i bring two eyeshadow um palette when i was going this was one of them that i bring because i bought this just the same time i was going on and you know me i love a bit of color when i see color so this was one of the eyeshadow that i take with me also and then i have this one here which is make makeup with an attitude so i pick this up and it says best um best-selling superhero comic book and this is like a book here so i picked this up and i would take this eyeshadow with me because i was out there so long and it's most of the time like if i'm going out i would wear a little bit of eyeshadow with you know a little bit of foundation and stuff so this was one of the eyeshadow that i also take with me while i was out there um when my sister passed and then also i bring this um matte focus face primer from wet and wild i bring this with me also to put over my face after i masterize and put on some oil on my face and i masterize i would bring this also to help cover some of the oil and stuff and then i bring lash because when i was out there it was easy for me to get lash done um i would use these and I would just, I bring the lash, so I would just ask somebody to put them on and pay like a $500 to put it on. Or I would put the one that you can put in your eyes. Um, and not in your eyes, in your lash, you pick them up one by one and you put them in. I get that done also, which is was like $500. So you have um, professional people out there who would do this. And I didn't have to go far to get these done. This was like right in front of me there. And also, um for um mascara no i picked this mascara up while i was going away which is from l'oreal and i really and truly the ultimate mascara i really love this mascara guys i'm telling you, it's like this i really love this i didn't get to put it in a haul so i bring it with me while i was out there so i could wear a little bit of mascara when i don't have on any lash and also i bring a face spray with me which i can't put my hand on right now where it is and then after i finish set my face with uh my setting powder my set under eye powder i would use this which is the black radiant um powder i would just use this to and you can see it almost hit pan i would use it to finish set um my makeup here now for lipstick i bring this lipstick and another one here i'm trying to see if i can find it and also i bring this elf um character you know to correct underneath my eyes when i was out there also it's not much leaving it and this is it but you know what guys to me i prefer um la girl um character than these that's my preference anyway i'm not saying that's your preference but that's my preference so i bring these lipstick with me and these are from heart can this one is they forget me not so these are very nice lipstick here it's very thick and creamy and when you buy them at walmart from hard candy you also get a pencil with them so you can use the pencil and this is how the lipstick look here on the back of my hand and then this is also another one which is red velvet 
I also have these with the pens to also let's put it here you can see how thick and creamy these are but most of all my red lipstick from Paba cosmetic this is the one I'm wearing now and these lipstick are matte they're not too dry and they also don't really hard um, easy to come off and this is it and I'm wearing this one today and my lip you can see it here right here my friend right here that's where this lipstick is and also for oil I bring um, this oil for my hair which is the kitty hair lotion I bring this and it's have a really not a great scent to hit but you know what uh, it's not smelling good guys but I bring this to put in my hair while I was out there because I got I get some rinse put in my hair and then you know it was really like hard and stuff for me um, out there so guys that's what I bring to Jamaica when I was going um, in January and that's what I was using out there I don't use makeup like every every day because sometimes I don't go out and sometimes I'm a bit tired you know after everything and I would stay home but when I'm going out these are the things that I would use on my face and then the, the um, makeup that I would use on my face and also the oil and the Moisturizer that I would put on my face. So I want to say thank you again guys for watching so much Don't forget if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead hit the red subscribe button Do comment and do give me a thumbs up um, Right now I need to get back in my in my YouTube and YouTube because you know I'm lost in subscribe and also lost in viewers So I want to say thank you again. God bless you and I will see you in my next upload Peace out my friend and I will see you soon I, I, I.